Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Now today is going to be an interesting one, because it's a floor plan. Now, I haven't done one of these in a while, and for good reason. Because they are very difficult to root for, because obviously, if you really look at it, the inside is incredibly complex, but the outside, like you can see by the blue outline, is just a box. <laughs> it's purely a box. And obviously, my first instinct is... Just roof it like it's a box. Just put one of those triangular roofs over the whole thing and call it good. But, obviously that looks incredibly boring and you want it to look nice and fancy, so... I struggle with these roof... Pla roofing for these floor plans a lot. And, um, especially with that weird, like, you know, indent right ne next to the laundry room and, the, like, in between the laundry room and the kitchen. It's like, I can't... I can't figure out how to roof these sort of things. <laughs> That's why I don't come up with my own build. I go on Google and search, like, how to, like, roof real-life homes. Because I really struggle with it. And obviously, this looks awful. <laughs> like, But the inside is what I'm most proud of. I'm actually really happy with the inside. And the floor plan of this home just makes a lot more sense. Um, like, a lot of sense. And it just made me happy doing the inside, made me incredibly sad to do the outside. But y'all know how this goes, what hippity happens here, and I do have some things to talk about. So, as you know, I am on winter break, and I spent a lot of time on my computer, <laughs> as we have probably noticed. And my computer has been giving me a lot of issues. Now, Windows it's a lot better than Apple, do not even get me wrong on that, it's so much better than Apple, oh my god. But, the thing about it is, it has been giving me so many issues. So, essentially, um, when I booted up my computer one day, it just wouldn't, like, the internet wouldn't connect. Um, like, I checked all the settings, I checked to make sure everybody else's internet was on, and it was, of course. Um, however, the... Computer Wi-Fi wouldn't connect, so we took it into good old Geek Squad. Thank you. You guys are the saviors of the nerds. Um, they fixed it, of course, and it's wonderful, but they never actually told us what was wrong with it. <laughs> they just said, hey, here's your fixed PC. I mean, don't ask questions. It's fixed, anyway. Um, but it was on, like, permanent airplane mode, and you couldn't turn it off, even, like, we went into settings. It was, like, it was all wonky, so I was out of commission as far as computer goes for three, uh, as far as the computer goes for, um, like, three, four days. Um, that's probably why, like, maybe a couple weeks back I didn't upload as much as because it was in the shop. Um, and of course, if you follow me on Twitter, link in the description, um, you know that. So, um, there's one issue, but then this next issue was a thousand percent my fault. <laughs> um, so whenever you see, whenever Windows says, hey, there's a new update, my first instinct is to look at every little detail, like, I actually read, um, <laughs> unlike the, the terms of service, which nobody reads, I actually read the, um, the list of, like, what improvements they made, um, how this will change, stuff like that. So, I immediately downloaded it because it all sounded wonderful, it all sounded great. Um, none of it sounded like it would impact my files or my, um, career in any way. Um, well, my, you know, hobby, YouTube, it wouldn't affect YouTube in any way. Um, I'd like to make it a career one day, but anyway, um, <laughs> aside from that, um, so essentially... I clicked install, and it's like, yeah, you can still run your computer while we're doing these updates. And I'm like, okay, awesome. I couldn't. <laughs> it was so laggy. I couldn't do anything on my computer. And so The Sims 3 crashed multiple times. It has never done that, at least for me, in the past ever. Um, Sims would, like, The Sims 4 would barely run. Um, I, could e I couldn't even, up like, uh, not upload. Um access YouTube most days, and even a game that, like, sometimes, like, for creative XP, I just leave and come back, and, like, it's never crashed before, but this time it did. So when Windows says you can run your PC while we are updating, don't believe it. <laughs> Do something else for the next, like, day or two that it takes to actually update your computer, because it did take two days for my computer to update. Finally, it finished last night, and... The new update kind of sucks. <laughs> it's kind of ass. <laughs> because, not the fact that it runs badly, it actually runs pretty well, but the fact that 
like the, all the icons are different when you right click to rename a file, which obviously I do a lot because that's how I differentiate all my um, videos, obviously, <laughs> um, is like you have to press more options and that's a lot more like steps and it's more inconvenient. And I know it's just a minor inconvenience in the grand scope, but it's still annoying. <laughs> it's still incredibly annoying. Plus all the icons are different and like the taskbar is different and the way you click things is different. So overall, it's just really weird and different, and I like the new icons, it's just weird. <laughs> it's just gonna take an adjust, like, it's gonna take time to adjust to. But anyway, back to the build, I'm incredibly proud of that kitchen and that living room. That living room is basically every other living room I built, but the laundry room is basically a laundry room slash office. Um, you kind of could see it, and like, yeah, you could kind of see it, but... I'm really happy with that because it's like a dual functionality and it's really nice and like the hall is like obviously the floor plan it just makes sense because it's a real life floor plan and it also happens to make sense in The Sims but overall I'm really happy with the way this turned out and the bedrooms are really small like not small but they're like a decent size and they're simple and this backyard is like it's perfect I love this backyard it's so just easy management you know um I actually want to put a pool but as you probably saw a little bit earlier, I did want to put a pool, but it would have been like a two by two. Um, so I decided, nah, I don't really want that. But it seems like a this house kind of seems like you can expand a family here. Um, if you wanted, you could make one of the bedrooms have a bunk bed, um, so you could house two Sims in there. And like the master is really nice. It has like this big old bathroom, and it's really nice. Um, the the master doesn't have the bathroom but you the house has the bathroom you know what i mean um and it just it all looks really nice but anyway we're wrapping up the build um i'm kind of creating the teens room a little bit here just with posters and such and um i kind of assume that it's like a preteen if you know what i mean um and then here's the parents bedroom they're like oh i went to college look at me me <laughs> um so they have all those sort of posters up front and of course i use my favorite flooring and some carpets in the bedrooms and and of course my favorite wallpaper to finish it off so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did do make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe to join the aqua team today hopefully you enjoyed this little speed build it's literally the same thing we do every night pinky it has a horrible roofing and that's it so um and then i also have brick and wool anyway it's under two bedroom one bathroom backyard home pretty simple but the hashtag is good look sim and good look sim er so i already said i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one so long for now my for team